Hello friends, welcome back to Smriti Notes for Biotechnology. In today's lecture, we will study about gametogenesis. So before starting, let's look at some basic terms. Before we go into depth, we must be clear with these basic terms that what all these words mean. Now gametogenesis is basically the production of sperms and eggs that is it has two types that is spermatogenesis and oogenesis so before going into specification of gametogenesis for any specific animal like frog aves or mammals let us first have a look about what is gametogenesis under spermatogenesis and oogenesis we should be aware of the entire process because the question will not come like explain the life cycle of frog you're supposed to first explain what is spermatogenesis and then you're supposed to explain it with respect to the frog's system i have taken out all the important material and just compiled it you guys can make points out of it and just mention the important points while explaining organogenesis and spermatogenesis for explaining this process try to use the flow chart along with the diagram and now we will look into it in respect to the frog so i have mentioned what should be written in respect to the frog you are not supposed to write the entire process just the important things that are different you are supposed to mention is like the neurula what is that the neural tube and the neural crest cells what are those and how this organogenesis and spermatogenesis differ in the frog i have also mentioned some more differences like in the female frog the ovaries are above the kidney whereas in the male frog it has two testes and the sperms basically produce travel through kidneys to the cloaca so this is the basic difference which you are supposed to mention this is the structure of egg that is the egg of the frog and the structure of the sperm so that is again organogenesis and spermatogenesis part now we will look into the aves part the distinguished feature here is that males have two testes whereas female have only one ovary these topics are little confusing guys but you are just supposed to write the distinguishing features that they have in them that is different same is in the case of mammals i have mentioned that the male reproductive system consists of pair of testes that are enclosed in scrotal sacs whereas the female has a pair of ovaries a pair of fallopian tube a uterus and a vagina so guys again i'm explaining you are supposed to be clear with the concept of gametogenesis and then you are supposed to distinguish between the frog aves and mammal and all the matter which i have provided is more than sufficient for your exams now we will study about the classification of eggs i have given the example for each classification and about 2 3 lines for each type you can mention them the egg classification is basically of two types that is one is based on yolk and the other one is based on the distribution of yolk in cytoplasm so you can go through both of them and also go through the examples they are very important now we will study about the envelope of the egg first we will study in brief what is the envelope of the egg and then we will study about each organism's envelope like in mammals in aves as well as in frogs so i have again compiled all the matter guys you are just supposed to stop the video look into it and write down the important points in your notes and also if you want the pdf of notes then i I'll give a link below or just comment in the comment section and let me know. Now the last topic is embryonic development in vertebrates as well as in invertebrates. First you must be clear about what vertebrates and invertebrates are. Basically the vertebrates have a backbone and the invertebrates do not have that backbone or spinal bone. I have given the eggs and the sperms released uh, in vertebrates as well as in the uh, invertebrates. You can just go through them again, pick up the important points which you feel like, and just mention them. Like I'll explain you with one example. 
for studying embryonic development in vertebrates the spiders basically hatch from eggs as well as small versions of their parents and they take care of themselves and they're similar to the reptile and fish so you got it like the fish basically hatches from their egg itself so that is how you are supposed to explain it i hope you find these notes useful and if you find them useful then guys do not forget to like share and subscribe the video and do not forget to press the bell button for latest update of my videos if you have still any doubt then do comment and let me know thank you